Okay, so in the last stream, uh, we, oh, we were helping somebody out who'd been stabbed by remembering first aid. Yes, totally remembering, not cheating in any way, with no assistance whatsoever, all from my perfectly functional memory. Maybe the tell for me when I'm lying is that I burp, because <laughs> that burp was weirdly timed. Uh, so yeah, that was what happened last time, and we had a few, we had a phone call. Oh, yeah, Dawn! The totally... Who, who might be the Whistling Man, or maybe is related to the Whistling Man. We saved Roller Ricky at Roller Ricky's Disco, and his dog Max, and most importantly, with the alarm system thing, and now... Oh, yeah, and at one point we heard a bang upstairs whilst we were in... <laughs> downstairs, uh, playing around with some uh, computer in someone's office. So, more than likely, someone's managed to go and get into the building somewhere, so we're going to be a lot more careful than we were before, I think. I'm, I'm kind of worried that if I walk in the wrong room, there might be someone hiding there waiting for me. I don't know why I think that's how this is going to work, but... Da, da, da. Oh, ah, and if I remember correctly, before we came off, Peggy said, Hey, before things escalate later... Well, I don't know, she didn't word it like that, but she basically just said, Oh, go have a break and have a look around if you want. And I was like, oh yeah, sure, yeah, no worries, there's no traps waiting for me. Um... <laughs> so, I mean... We don't, have a, uh, we don't have a particular objective just now. We don't have anything to look for. So, should we look around? I'm trying to think if there's anything else around the office we would need, but I don't think so. We, we've we got a lot of information. We know rough... We don't know exactly what's going on, but... We still don't have the name, because there's that original... The original murders that was, like, sort of a cover-up. Where's that? Where's our... Where's our documents on that? I threw them somewhere. Oh, God. Wait, oh, wait, they're just on the floor, aren't they? Yeah, I'm just a messy, messy DJ. Forgive me, there's murders happening. I, I think I have a right to be messy. So, yeah, there was this whole situation here with the cover-up of this murder... And two people, Sandra, uh, well, Sandra referred to a he who was keeping her quiet, and then the Clive the janitor who was, had all this information that we found also referred to an employer who I think is the he as well. So there's definitely, and then we know there's this Dawn lady running around who tried to break into Roller Ricky's disco. And he was certain that was the Whistling Man. He said, that's the Whistling Man, they were in a coat and stuff, so... There's... It's either... I don't know, I don't know. I, I think it's definitely multiple people involved. Possibly. But... I don't know what their motive would be. Other than trying to stop me with these funky jams! Oh, I like this. Right, okay, shall we... Okay. I don't actually have anyone in here. I was going to say, we should, if anyone was in here, you can tell me, should I look around or keep going? But since there's no one... Since there's no one here... I could just decide for myself that I don't want to. Because <laughs> I don't really. Uh, okay. I mean, I can have a peek. See, I could have a look down this corridor. Do you know what's concerning me, actually? Right, so if I get an idea of the layout of the building in my head, right? Um, you go down the stairs, which brings you down the reception, which is down there. And you go behind the reception, through here, door, this way, and then this way. And then I was in this office. So the bumping I was hearing was, like, around here? What's this room? Locked tight. It's locked tight, whatever it is. Okay, I don't know. Unless somebody was in these bathrooms here. And yeah, I. Okay, I'm just freaking myself out, which means I'm probably not going to open that door. Yeah, I, you know what? Nobody's here. Nobody's here to, like, <laughs> berate me for being coward, so I'm just going to be a coward and stay in my DJ room. Peggy will make up a reason for me to leave. Okay, right. Now let's see what Peggy's saying. Let's roll. You got it. We've got another call coming through. Ah, oh, good timing. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I believe we have another da -da. caller on the line. 
How are you tonight, Kyle? Right, who is it now? Forrest, it's me, Roller oh. Ricky. Oh, Roller Ricky. We saved him. I must wait. Oh yeah, it's good to hear good from you. Yeah. From you again. How are you both doing? Alive. Oh, good man, thanks to you. You're like our guardian angel. Yay. That would be a bad look for you, Forrest. Can you come over oh, here with a gun like and protect me? That would be nice. Over? Maybe something for the KFAM Halloween party. All right, everyone, let's calm down. Ricky, I'm just glad we could help you and Max. Can I borrow your Is gun? Is there anything else we can help you with, Ricky? Actually, I think I have some info that might help you. Oh. I'm waiting. Right. I'm waiting. Give me the info. See, man, uh, me and Jason know each other. Jason. Do you know each other? Yeah, we went to Gallus High and played on the football team together. He was a gnarly offensive linesman, and I was our star wide receiver. Runner Ricky, they called me. All right, and what does that have to do with tonight? Well, because George, the guy who drowned, he was on our team too. Oh, you know the victim. Okay, keep, keep talking. talking. Keep talking. Give me the give me the we info. Had a first team party on the night he drowned. Yeah. Okay. He seemed like such a good dude. Ricky, were you there when George drowned? No, man. Once the party turned, I beat feet out of there. Okay. Man, I remember George and his girl there. His... It was a whole lot of love, man. I could see it. His know? girl? Yeah, tell me about her. Ricky, listen, this is. Who's very this? Important. I need to know everything about her. <gasps> I didn't really know her before or see her after that. Wait. I never even got her name, man. I just remember he called her Bean. Then Bean. what did she look like? Please, tell us anything you remember. I just remember a pretty girl, man. I'm sorry. Hmm. Ricky, you said the party didn't last long. What happened? We were... just having a good time. So is this like the ex of the boy that got killed? Everyone was running for their life. I looked up... and saw a goddamn whistling man in the trees. Whoa. Like a mothman, he like flew and I down never over ran you. So fast in my life, I ran straight home. Didn't know about George until next morning at school. I'm okay. guessing it was whistling night, wasn't it? That the whistling man was just another kid. Yeah. I don't know how George died, but I oh. Know. I always felt like if anyone deserved to die that night, it should have been me. What? Wait, yeah, it wasn't your fault. Wait, Ricky, what have you done? It wasn't your fault. Other than owning a roller disc, You're not a roller person. disco. I know that now, ma'am. Hmm. It took a long time to learn, but yeah, just thought I'd tell you all what I know. Thank you, Ricky. Thanks, Ricky. Thank you. You got it, man. Anyway, I think it's time for me and Max to free up your phone lines. Thank you. Thanks for listening, man. Okay. Oh. Night, Ricky. Right, hold on, hold on. I'm getting, I'm getting a theory here. Looks like we got a new lead in the case. I have a theory. If anyone has any info about this mysterious bean, please call in. If she was George's girlfriend, oh, she's probably in her mid to late thirties now. Okay. Oh, we have another call coming in, but hang on. Uh, what? What's up, Peggy? What's up, Peggy? Peggy, you're scared of me. Peggy. You're gonna want to take this call off the air. <laughs> Who is it? What? Just do it. All right, folks. Okay, she sounds playful. That's a good sign. Track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. Okay, she didn't sound too concerned. All right. Uh, what one, Dapush? Yep. Oh, sorry. Oh, music. Oh, Jesus. I forget. I'm a radio DJ. Jesus Christ. I forget so quickly. Storm Riders. Let's go. You're Let's go. This next track. Uh, I hope this is good news, Peggy. She sounded happy ish. Find out for yourself on line one. Yeah, okay. This feels good. All right. Line one. Hello. Hello. Forest. I'm glad I got back through to you. Sounds like it's been a busy night, huh? <laughs> Surprise! It's Leslie, our 911 operator. Oh, please tell me she got help. Henderson to 
come save us. Yay! It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? Do you have an army? I am. I'm driving back with an officer from Henderson now. Okay. We got back into radio Just one. a while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. I would have liked if you got more, but okay. Yeah, so help's it's coming. Been non-stop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. You bet. Yeah. A whole goddamn squad towards Gallows. Oh, a whole goddamn squad. Let's go. Turns out somebody had cut the phone lines. Oh. They had no idea what was happening. That's great news. That's crazy about the phone. God, this is a hell of an operation. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm this, guessing so. It seems like a well, lot for one he, person. How she, how the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. I think there's a lot more. We're okay. Hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. Well. Uh, okay. Hey, what? Yeah. What do you need? What? What do you want? What do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. Okay. The whistling man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking, okay. to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in. <laughs> once her location is known, go head straight there and end this night. Wait. No, I think I know where this is I'll going. I know you will. We're gonna figure out where she yes, is. I can see the headlines. And she's gonna be here. Boris Nash's interview of a life. Uh, okay. I'm nervous. Anyway, I'll radio okay, no, I know exactly what's happening here. She's here. Go. She's in this building, right? Hopefully the next time I see you, <laughs> oh, we'll be with our killer behind bars. Take care now. We'll can, see you soon. Can Leslie. I hide behind the desk? I feel like I can hide no, behind the desk. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through no, this. No. Okay, yeah. I hope you're right. The sooner this is over, the better. I am right. Trust me. Anyway, we should get you back on air. Taking callers is the only way to see this. Right. Thing. Give me a second. Right, I have a thought. Before... Are you ready? Shut the music off. I'm not ready, okay? So don't badger me like you usually do, Peggy. Please, okay? I will mute you if, if I can figure out how to. I think what's happening... Right, before... Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Peggy, what did I fucking say? Shh. Okay, I'll say this quickly. I think Dawn, yes, is the killer, right? I think she was the boyfriend of the George that got killed. Peggy, shut up. <laughs> but he was killed by some other people, and they're trying to cover up people with a lot of power, possibly. And they use the whistling man okay, Forrest, shut the music killer off. as a front for the murder. They pretended it was a serial killer and murder, but it was actually maybe more of an accident or something that gets them in trouble. So they pretended there was a serial killer for when some reason. Ready, shut the music off. Shh. But, so this Dawn is getting revenge on these people who were involved, possibly, or just the town for his death and covering up and stuff. Okay, Forrest. Shut by the being music the whistling off. man. So we need to appeal to that in the interview. We need to make Dawn feel like we're on our side. And y you know what I mean? Like, about the bad people you back, who did Lawrence? something bad to George. Okay. Welcome back to the screen. Okay, we're on our site. Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say dude, 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 are dude. Up. it's almost over. But for now, don't say that. Let's bring in our next caller. <laughs> don't give away away the game. Evening caller, this is Forrest Nash. Hello. Hello, Forrest. This oh. is John Hedges. I'm here with Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. Oh yeah, yeah. the guy the guy who got stabbed. He's gonna be okay. He's a fighter. Yay! Stabilized. Oh, but yeah, we got him. Okay. We're preparing to move him to the hospital. That's good. Thank you so much. If you hadn't been there, then. Oh, shucks. God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Oops. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? Oh. Is this Forrest? Wait. Wait, wait, why? It is. Why does that voice sound the same? Now. It's good to hear you, Jason. What? Oh, okay. How are you? Maybe that's. Oh well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach. Oh no, okay. There's a knife in my leg, but John gave me something to take the. For a minute there, the voice sounded exactly the so, same as John, and I got confused. I feel even better than either of you. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh. 
He's got some of that high Take grade stuff. You get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But uh, before that, I oh. I needed to call you. Information. Guessing the whistling man is still out there. Uh, yeah. Yes, why? the whistling man's still out there. Why do you ask? You know something about the whistling man, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, because you were talking to them. We talk about what happened earlier. Go for it. We spoke to Roller Ricky not long after you were attacked. You spoke to Ricky? Was he? Is he all right? I need he's information. Right. I mean, he was attacked earlier, but this call came after. Hey guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call no. on the other line. No, 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 no. Make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You do that. Sorry, Jason. Uh, okay, you talk to the other one. Ah, yep. Ricky's fine. You don't need to worry about him. That's a relief. He told us about George. Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. Right. What? It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. Come on, get to the point. Friend is dead, Forrest. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything. I'd find myself in jail for a long time. Here we so, go. And then the town just moved on. Like it never existed. Yeah, what happened? What happened that night? I went along with the stupid prank. Yep. That's what. <laughs> Whistling Bloody night. Bastards. Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. We decided to plan a party <gasps> Chuck Brody he was on the football team whistling man crashing it was stupid we each had a role I was the stabbed friend yeah <laughs> that's ironic party that night the guy <laughs> left the group for a second met our whistling man pretended to get stabbed in front of everyone oh god whoa almighty panic you guys take goofs far too far. That was Holy the last shit. Time I saw or heard George alive. How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream. Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean. Is that who you mean? Bean. Oh, yeah. I guess hmm. George did call her that. Yeah. He called her. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Oh. Her name was... M what? M what happened? M Are we still on air? No. No, we're not. Uh-oh. Okay. How do we get it back on? I don't... Uh... Oh, we can use the emergency... <laughs> of course we can. Oh, yes! Oh, great! An emergency broadcast? Crazy stabbing murderer. Fair point. <sighs> yes, I did. I know exactly where it is. You might not. If we're both being honest with yourselves, we might not. Okay, right. <laughs> Okay, it's go time. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna suck. Okay, here we go, folks. Great. It's very quiet now. Loving this. Okay. Me no likey at all. Good job it's not picking up my voice, because I'm being very noisy about this. Hello? Alright. Okay. Okay, just give me a minute. I'm just adjusting my headphones. I'm actually turning this down so that I don't get deafened and terrified. Well, I'm going to get terrified either way, but... Ugh. Okay. Well, where was the... Aha. It's in here, right? Right, so we need to go through here. Into the very back. 
of the room. Huh. Far back corner. Why is this station so big? Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Damn it. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> okay. Should I save? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's save. I feel like we're at the point now where I could very easily fuck this up. Okay. That must be it. This is it here? Oh, we've got power. Oh god, yeah, yeah. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. Yeah, but how Okay, the whistling man's out here somewhere. Oh god, this is <laughs> this is tense. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. The door, the door. I need to hide. I need to hide. I think I need to hide. Did you guys hear that? I think I heard someone coming in. The next room, and then walking up. Unless that's them walking away. That might be them walking away, maybe. Come on, mouse traps. Why aren't the mouse traps working? No detours. Straight upstairs. What the hell? Heard a bang. Peggy? Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Uh, okay, the whistle man is right behind us. Peggy, 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 Peggy. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? Can I... Can I lock this? Peggy! Where did you go? Oh, what the fuck? I just got locked in! No way. This can't be happening. Oh, hi, hi. What up? Uh, you, do you want me to... Would, would you like to make an announcement? Uh... Hello? A, a call. A co okay. Oh, I'm at Peggy's side. Okay. Uh, hello? Wow, your, her desk is way bigger than mine. I'm jealous. Uh, yeah, what do you what want? Do you want? Good to talk to you again, Forrest. Okay, Dawn. Yeah, I really enjoyed our chats tonight. I guess we've had some moments. God damn. My favorite was when Ricky ran you out of the rink. Huh. Forrest, be nice. We need to Forrest. try and appease her. Where's Peggy? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. Okay. But it's not over just yet. We've got a little time still. So let's make Right, fill me in. What's going on? Okay, all right. All right, let's. I'm happy to hear that. Huh? What the? I thought we'd end tonight's whistling man special with a special guest. Uh, who's the that? Who started it all? Oh, let me take that out of your mouth. And... Wait. You crazy bitch. Wait. Let me go. Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy. Oh, there's yes, multiple people. Who's this then? Wait. Teddy? Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. But even if he crawled out of his coffin with all the money in the world. Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. So who's this? He says where that is. Wait. Well, he knows he'll get it. Wait. Wait, then, yeah, who the hell am I lo Peggy? Who am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallant's Creek to my boy. Henry Barrow. Wait. Your son? You mean you... 
Wait, did, did he? Yes, Forrest. Can I have okay, the son of George. Okay. So there were two whistling men tonight. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, that's how you're able to run around so much. Always able to get around town so quickly. Yeah. Did you say Barrel? That are you? Let me just get this mask off. Bean. Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. Mooney? There we go. Who Mooney? Marie Campbell? George's old girl. Oh. Yeah, so Bean or whatever. Has been years Is there like a... I last saw. Oh, God Name one one? Where are you going with all of this? Yeah, what's what's the Everyone's deal here? Gonna know now what Teddy did. Okay. He killed George that night. This night. How? I still don't know how. Also, I've left a screwdriver in my room, which means the whistling man has a screwdriver. Not happy about that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay, Keep it. Yeah. Okay. We'll get the. We'll get the. The truth out. God, you can punch really fast. I said <laughs> speak when you're spoken to. <sighs> now, I know you've done some good work tonight. And Thank you. Together, what happened to George 20 years ago, and that's why I want you to interview us. Right, if you say if you so. Say so, I'm not really in a position to argue. <laughs> yes. I'm happy we have your cooperation. Yeah, good as job. long as. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. Okay, I mean, I'm all right with that. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to. I need to drag this out. Okay, yeah, I know. Buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek, and if I can don't say this on the mic, Forrest, Jesus. <laughs> this can end. Oh my God. Daddy, we'll start with you. Daddy, just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was twenty years. Oh come ago. on, uh, no, no. Yeah, do you want to die, you Teddy? Want to die, Teddy, because if you don't start talking, the stakes are up now. What the hell? God damn it! Okay. Thank you, Teddy. Our Jesus. First team party was coming up, and when I saw the date it was scheduled for, you were like, "Ah, oh, let's just do a little prank." Prank the new guys. Teddy, you kind of are an asshole. I'd... Yeah, why that night? What yeah. made that night special? Yeah, what's that? That was the night Mooney went missing. We Mooney? It up. I was just surprised no one had ever thought to do it before. Wait. You mean this was the first whistling night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. Yeah. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God. Who was there? Jason. Me. George. Jason. George, and Marie. Course, uh, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. Okay. And Roller Ricky. He was there too, wasn't he? Yes. Ricky was there too. Runner Ricky. Runner Ricky? Nah, Roller Ricky's better. I prefer that. Helped him off the bottle, you know. Because I'm a decent man. Teddy. Is that so? Yes. It <laughs> is. I'm, I'm going to let you get killed, mate, if you don't stop that. Politician shit. I'm a great man. Wasn't stable. Okay. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life, so I helped him keep himself together. Okay, stop being so fucking you preachy. You were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? Keep talking. About midway through the night, we put the prank into action. Right. Looked up at the trees and saw. Jason there. Bloody. Like, he'd just been stabbed. <sighs> and the whistling man. Screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. But Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. 
He and Teddy were as close as anybody. Teddy must have told him the plan. Uh, no, Jason knew, but Ricky didn't, did he? No, Marie, you're wrong. Ricky didn't know. What? Did you miss that part of the broadcast? Yeah, he didn't know. It, it, Jason knew. He had no but... idea what was happening. He said he was as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. Yeah. Leave him, Roller Ricky alone. He just wants to do Roller Disco. An innocent man who just wants to do Roller Disco. About it afterwards. He's still guilty. It was just a stupid prank. Hit him. Hit him again, Marie. <laughs> Sorry, but I wanted to. I, 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 I. George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional help just in time. Oh. Yeah, not planning out the way you wanted it to, eh? Shame he didn't have the good sense to die earlier. Unfortunately, he had me. Enough about him. Me and George took off running, but somehow we got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point. Okay. I noticed George wasn't with me. I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but... Oh, God. The Whistling Man grabs me. The Whistling Man? I can stall for time here. Uh. Yeah. How did how, how did you feel? How did you how feel? How did you feel in that moment? I felt like nothing was real. I felt small. Come on, let's therapy her into a very long conversation. Okay. Yeah. Who? Uh. What happened Tell next? What happened next? Chuck. Chuck. Chuck Brody. Oh, the gas station. Laughing away. But then he stops. And he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> oh, God. He was the yeah, So, George. But what happened to George? What happened next? Nothing. I mean. It was just Teddy, Teddy? something Teddy knows something. George fell off whistling point. Why did he fall? Why did he fall, Teddy? Why did he fall? Just, you pushed him. You were up there. Ted, wait, I think I'm letting my hate for Teddy take over here. <laughs> I don't like Teddy. <laughs> I didn't push him, god damn it! I just chased him up there and he kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar. It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. If he had any Oh way, my god, don't say that. Teddy, you're going to get killed. Okay, well, you're going to get punched at the very least. Bitch. Oh yeah, that's going to help. No one's going to believe this. After all you said. Then why cover it up? If she's lying. Why the cover up? Yeah. My future. You Was fucking politician, of course. Ash. You know what it's like. No, I don't. Like us. <laughs> what do you mean, like us? Bigger things. I'm going to be the mayor of this town, Forrest. <sighs> and then governor. And then, who knows? What happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke. Oh my god. god. No, it wasn't. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should a blip ruin my future? What an asshole. George was a, a blip. blip. Uh-oh. He wasn't a blip, Marie. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night. 
Sandra found him the next morning while out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up, unless she... Yeah, she was being threatened. Teddy, did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's Gallows Creek, not Sharp Creek. <laughs> okay. Answer I the bloody question. question. If I were you, Teddy. Yes, okay. So the rent just happened to go up, did it? That's it then. Yeah. Her father was going to run her out of business unless she lied and said she found him in the reservoir instead of the river. What my father did in his business dealing. <laughs> okay. God, this guy's such a piece of shit. Reports. That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews too, isn't it, Maria? Not just to get him out of the way, but... Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. Or even... And fake report? Uh, I only heard the tapes. You'd be disgusted by it. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. Yeah. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even... Even still, she should have told the truth. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper. But no, that coward killed the story. Who's that coward? But Maurice Russell is dead now. Yeah, you've been through a lot. I'm sorry. You've got no idea. Uh, I think I kind of do. You're killing half the town. That seems like a lot to go through. Started. Okay. All right. It's coming to a stop. Uh, no, we should keep talking. Here, where George and I first met, before he joined the football team, was right after he shot the. Wait, where would that be? Wait a sec. The roller rink? Is it the roller rink? Uh, wait, where did they meet? Uh, I don't know. Uh. Ah, uh, I don't know. Wait, I actually don't know. School gym? The roller rink. The roller rink. Jesus Christ! Forest, you idiot! What in the gym? Oh, the god gym? damn it! <laughs> okay, yeah. I told you not to do that. Wait. <gasps> oh god. Oh, I fucked up He's then. All right, well. Dead too now, isn't he? He is. See so you at the gym. I think that about wraps up the interview. Teddy. Can I live? So. I. Marie, where? Oh my God. Look, Peggy? Peggy. Teddy. Peggy. It's been so long since I. Wait, seen Peggy. Why are you not here? Where are you going? You wouldn't come. And here I was, thinking you'd forgot me. I'd never forget my own <gasps> sister. Oh God! Wait, what, sister? sister. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> what, what's happening? Why are you even there? I don't like the way you're looking at me, by the way. Could you please stop? Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. Do you remember? Yeah. Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out... That my sister is... The whistling man. And her son, who's you, currently Peggy. eyeing Why me up like a me nice this? turkey dinner. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we keep you on the radio. And I just... I might not be on the radio soon. I'm sorry. This has to be... I might not be on the radio for, for any more time just, after this. What happened to you, Marie? Oh, this is stressful. I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. They only cared when they learned I'd been with George. And... and okay. Marie, I'm so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's Mom and Dad I should be seeing right now. What? But since gone well I'll have to 
settle for the next best thing. Wait, what? What? I wait. Wait. You, well, yeah. What about Eugene? That kid in the maze maze, uh, Eugene Stein, because his parents. That's right. Eugene's parents were there that night too. Oh, for God's sake! In a bus accident. But then, why'd you go after Her Eugene? Was left. Murray, please. That's a bit much. Dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. The police coming yet? Just I mean, what? Rest. I didn't say anything. <laughs> forgot. Is there any way I could prove Peggy didn't forget Marie? Eh. Uh, prove. Oh, this. Wait. Marie, Peggy never forgot about yeah. you. Yeah, birthday cards. Shut. She kept a card from you. Yeah, she, here we go. She kept it here. God, that was a good dead. find. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. Now you're great in eight. Say then. Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love M. Yep. I... How's some of that, eh? Well, I... That's some I... familiar I... love. Oh, shoot that fucker! Uh oh. No. One dead, and we're in pursuit of the suspect. Sure, kill his ass. Freeze! <gasps> I'm not moving. Leslie, how's Peggy? She's been cut pretty bad, but we're here now. I'll be okay. Can someone help? Can I hey, help officer. me? I need you to look after Peggy. She needs help now. We got here just in the nick of time. Can I leave? Am I safe? She bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. Can I, am I safe? It's over, Forrest. Am, am I good? <laughs> I don't know if I'm good. Okay. Ooh. Well, folks, it was a long night, but we were <laughs> together. I'm gonna head off to go check on Peggy. This is Ben. Forrest Nash. Let's make tomorrow Let's better. Make tomorrow Please, no more serial killers. Is that it? <gasps> I'm alive! <laughs> Yay! For me, that's the ideal outcome. But oh, goddamn, that is loud. Yeah. Wow, that was fun. What? Whoa, what a reveal at the end. That was... Sorry if I was very quiet the whole time, but... I didn't really want to talk too much. Oh wait, right? Hello? One suspect is in custody. Okay. The other suspect into the nearby woods. Oh, okay. Where am I now? Open the door to skip the epilogue and credits. So, this is everyone who died and who only lived. Ah, so... Can you save everybody? Well, you can save Chuck. Martinez was. It's a killer frequency. Oh, that was the, that was right at the start, wasn't it? In the police station, and then Teddy Gallows Jr. I feel like we could have learned more about him somehow, and maybe I don't know. He did seem like an asshole. I'm not really too fussed. I'm actually, you know what? Fuck him. <gasps> Roller Ricky, look at him. He's got a headband. We lost Maurice right at the start, and um, that was uh, that guy. And then Murphy. Who's Murphy? I can't remember. Okay, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna. I don't know. Maybe I should back away from the possibly copyrighted music. But okay, wow. So yeah, I was a bit quiet that entire time, but I didn't really, obviously, want to talk over too much of the dialogue. I was just kind of taking it in. But wow, that was. I love the way that went. I like. I like how the pieces came together. Uh, wow, that was awesome. Oh, I loved that. That was really good. Oh, I really enjoyed that. Oh. Oh, the suspect cornered at the top of Whistling Point. Oh, so is that Marie then? Who? Okay. The fate of Peggy. I mean, Peggy's probably going to get shot. We're going to be honest with ourselves. No, Peggy? Why am I saying Peggy? Marie, Jesus. They're related. That's... that's Fine. Nobody else has to get hurt. Look at this broom. <laughs> Suspect has jumped. Oh, jumped. 
Oh, don't tell me to get away. That's scary. Oh. The whistle man has escaped, have they? Ah, oh, damn it. One of them, anyway. I'm just happy I survived. Let's be honest with ourselves. I don't know if that's... I don't know what kind of ending that is. I don't know what, if there's a difference in the endings. Exactly. But that felt pretty good. I mean, I know I didn't save everybody. But I, I had a very big sneaking suspicion I was going to die. But I didn't. So that's good. So I clearly stalled them long enough for me to live. I think I did okay. <laughs> anyway, so that was Killer Frequency. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know, maybe there's other endings. Maybe you can do a little better, because there was a few people I got killed and things I didn't do so well on. And a bit bits of information I missed, especially towards the end there. Because we still don't really know exactly what happened between Teddy and George up there. I don't really... There's no one else I can really think of who would fill it in other than Teddy himself. Unless one of the people that died maybe could have filled us in there, but I don't know. Um, but I'm not going to be playing it again, uh, like always with these games. If you think you can do better, if you think you know the secret formula to getting this game completed all the way, or you want to check it out yourself and see more information and bits and bobs and try it out, I highly recommend it. Uh, Wishlist it on Steam, check it out there. This was a lot of fun. Show them some support. This game was so good. Uh, so check it out for yourself. I highly, highly recommend it. So that's it for Killer Frequency. Thank you very much for watching.